Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Trace Vector by Vexel Games. Uh, this is available right now for $10 on, I believe, Indie Game Stand and Desera. I will link to one or the other of those, as well as being on Steam Greenlight, which I will, of course, also link to because I do encourage you to go vote for this, even if you don't buy it now. Because if you plan on buying it when it comes on, Steve, do, on Steam, do go give it a vote. So, let me jump in here. Uh, this will probably be a relatively short. Um, let's look at it. A little shorter than normal, I think. But, I will start up here with kind of the first levels. And maybe I'll go through the first and second sets of levels and probably call that good. So... Uh, I think my favorite thing about this is, I'm not playing right now, by the way, so it always gives you a little preview of your level before you do the level, which is a really neat effect. I like that. But I think my favorite thing is, like, the way that they have captured kind of the, the feel of kind of retro games, but brought it into, like, a new modern light. I guess you could say, because a lot of this really, really does feel very, very modern, and I like that a lot. Um, you know, it, I mean, it, you would think, I don't know, I get a, I get a vibe of, like, asteroids from this, just looking at it. Like, graphically, you know, this is really simple, and it, it really does call back to games like asteroids. But, at the same time, it also feels really, really fresh. Like, they've taken that graphical aesthetic and made it new. And I really, you know, I really enjoy stuff like that. So, as you can see, this is where things start to get a little difficult. <clears throat> and gameplay-wise, all I'm doing here is I'm just pressing up and down to determine which path I take. Which seems really simple now, but it is quickly going to get difficult. <clears throat> and then I love this part at the end of each level showing you how many fuel cells you got. Um, I also really like just the, the color palettes in this game. Uh, I'm, pretty sh I'm pretty sure it goes through the rainbow. So like this level, of course, we are red. The next set of levels, we are orange and then yellow. And it'll just keep going through all of the rainbow. I don't know um, if it goes for more levels after that. But even so, given how difficult these levels get, that would be plenty of game time for me. Um, I am on the third set of levels and I have not yet finished. <clears throat> Your fuel bar counts through the entire set of levels, so if you run out of fuel at any point, then um, you have to start the entire set of levels over. So that's kind of your risk reward, and again now it seems simple, but pretty soon we will be introduced to a slowdown mechanic, and there will be situations where we will have to slow down. I mean, I guess if you were really good you wouldn't have to, but you will pretty much have to slow down if you want any chance of collecting everything, and it gets to the point where you have to slow down if you want to just not lose. <clears throat> So yeah, I mean, like, the one of the big selling points, as I said, for me, is, like, the, the graphical aesthetic. But as well, the music is really, really good. I definitely like the music in this game. <clears throat> and it doesn't always tell us what directions to take, of course. That's just for the tutorial levels, and then, of course, starting after that, it won't tell us anymore. And we will be... Uh, you know, on our own, determining where to go. <clears throat> but, uh, you know, gameplay-wise, it seems really simple on the surface, but it quickly gets difficult. And as well, it's kind of got that sort of addicting quality to it, where I constantly feel like I want to play another level and I want to just give it one more shot. You know, and that's definitely a, a very good quality to have. So you may have seen the tooltip at the beginning um, that said, of course, press spacebar to slow down, and we may or may not need that. <coughs> Let's 
let's see here. This may be a level that I need to start using the slowdown. As you can see, it gets pretty difficult pretty fast. So I'm going to slow down. Do that. Oh, I missed it. Yep, that's okay. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is about where I stopped getting <clears throat> all of the fuel cells. Excuse me off here, holy cow. But, yeah, uh, so that is that is the first world, and then we get kind of this neat view of our ship, and we will be contacted by uh, our commanding officer, assuming. So, Aurora, are you okay? Report your status. All systems online. Network synchronization is complete. Fuel efficiency remains suboptimal. Where are we? Can you find home system? Oh, actually, I think we're talking to our computer, so searching. Coordinates found. We are approximately 12,000 light years from home system. Aurora, that's impossible. Something must be wrong. Confirmed. Uh, sorry, I skipped through that real quick. So what? Cancel. Ah, I accidentally pressed space bar again. That's okay. Um, the story is not super important. No offense to the developer. Um, this is definitely much more about the kind of gameplay and hopefully getting a decent score. Which, I mean, I did okay. I still need to do better on Into the Void. So, I think I will do one more set of levels, and yeah, whatever, I'll just go through that. So you can see here, I started just like not being able to get all of them. At all. <laughs> so, <laughs> this will be interesting. So, let's see what happens here. I really love watching the uh, the patterns form, um, and it's nice because you can start to kind of feel your way through a level before the level actually starts. I don't know, maybe that's just me that likes that, but you know, I definitely get a kick out of seeing the the lines kind of build themselves. And you can, uh, you can get going pretty fast in some of these levels. And that, of course, definitely makes it more difficult. Yeah, really, though, the, the, the visual aesthetic is, is really neat. It's definitely pulled off very well. Um, you know, if you couldn't tell, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of this game. Not only does it look nice and sound nice, but it plays nice, and that's always a huge factor for me, so... I'm gonna do this, slow down, go up, down, up, all the way up, down, up, and then here, we wanna go up, down, and I think I got it. Cool. So you can see though, that really drained my fuel doing that. So I'm hoping I get most of that back through. Yeah, it looks like I did it an okay job of getting most of my fuel back, so it's probably worth it. <clears throat> oh yeah. So yes, we do have like teleporters that you can see there. That will take us back. Alright, down. And then it doesn't matter. Definitely want to go up here. Oh, nope, I accidentally took the wrong one. That's okay. <clears throat> and then all the way up. Yeah, so I mean, I missed a couple, but I did all right. You know, like I said, though, it gets really, really difficult really, really fast. So I think a lot of people are going to be into that, though. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, things start to get pretty wild. Uh, of course, running into those red orbs will kill us. Oh yeah. Up there. Up, oh, and we're good. <coughs> um, one of my big issues kind of learning the game actually was getting used to using slowdown because uh, it, it almost has like a, a too good to use sort of thing going on, like you don't want to run out of it because it's also using your fuel. 
so you kind of hesitate on whether or not you should actually use it. But of course, using it rebuilds your fuel as long as you're good enough. So I want to go up, down, up, and then I want to go up, down, up, keep going up, go down, up, and down. Alright. Yeah, so I used a ton of fuel, but I should get a lot of it back. <clears throat> and of course, like I said, if you totally run out of fuel, then you have to do the whole set of levels over again, which obviously you don't want to have to do. <clears throat> yeah, I do seem to remember this one being a lot easier than some of the other levels in this set. So let's see. I only need to use a little bit of fuel, honestly. Alright, so I want to go down. Then I want to go up. And up again. Down. Down. Sorry for this turning into me just saying directions. Up. like that. So that was much better than my first time going through this set of levels. <clears throat> but yeah, I mean that I think gives a pretty good overview of Trace Vector. I'm just going to skip through this. We will go to the... Yep. Okay. Now it's skipping. There we go. We will go to the score screen and this will be where I wrap this one up, so, you know, if you if you couldn't figure out, I'm definitely a big fan of this one. I'm having a really good time with it, and, you know, I definitely think it's worth the money. I think it's a lot of fun. I think that people are going to get a kick out of this, especially if you are a fan of arcade games. It really does feel like if you were going to do an arcade game, but in a modern way, this is how you would do it. This is exactly, like, how I would want to see arcade games recreated now, so... Yeah, I'm a big fan. I think that you should give it a shot. I think you will be a fan too. If nothing else, go vote for it on Greenlight because I would love to see this kind of thing on Steam. I'm definitely a big fan of the game and, you know, I hope that you will enjoy this game as well. So, as always, uh, feel free to leave comments if there's anything that you would like to comment on. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos every single day. And if you liked my look at Trace Vector, then please do consider clicking the like button, because that helps me a lot, and I appreciate everything you do to help. So with all of that being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.